All right, what's going on, guys? I'm back with Alexis, and I've actually just made a tweak to it, which completely transformed it. So, uh, in drivetrain transmission, there is the street transmission, which is actually worse than stock. Like, if you look at the 0 60 here, 5.87. Look at here, it's 5.88. Why? Like, what's the point of that upgrade? But the sport upgrade. Uh, lets you adjust the final drive ratio. So, I found out this car's final was 3.2, which is way too long. So I put 4.08 in it, which is the one you actually would get from a non-turbo Supra's rear diff, or the one JZ Sora. Put that in, car is instantly better at drifting. Like, instantly better. I can do top of third, no bugging, nothing. It's absolutely fine. So, I think I'll keep you, Mr. Lexus, uh, for a time being. You're much more enjoyable car. And, yeah, I mean, it's now like a very good all round package now, so I'm absolutely happy with it. Uh, for those who just suggested to use the clutch, I tried the clutch. I could not get my head around the clutch because it's a button and not a pedal like I'm used to in real life. So it was kind of like, eh. But thank you for the suggestions. Uh, I couldn't do it. And the car suggestions, thank you. I'll keep those in mind for the future. I do. I would absolutely love to have an 86 drift car, but for now it's the uh, I'm enjoying my Lexus. Let me just take it out actually for a bit. So I kind of got like a, a cold because you know, it's, it's getting a bit. It's getting cold outside, and I've been outside for a while today, so I feel I've caught a cold. Hopefully it goes away, but if it doesn't, then I apologise for my, uh, what was that led to? Oh, that's for that, that's fan, that's Anna, Anna's doing that. Uh, this roundabout has always been a sort of a pain in my, ar my ass in this car, because it just wouldn't do it. If it did do it, it was like for a one rotation, it'll sort of either bog out or just stop sliding. But, uh, now... It's, uh, if I can get the rhythm going, there you go. Third gear is absolutely happy, and so am I. And now there's a bus waiting on the uh, roundabout for me. Let's uh, just cruise past. Uh, another thing is, uh, I said before I couldn't record of OBS because. Forza loves my CPU and it won't share with anything else. So I decided that I to up to update my OBS. Oh, it was in the way. Sorry. Uh, to OBS Studio, which uses oh, far less CPU. And as a result, I'm recording with OBS right now. It seems to be smooth. It occasionally dips to like 26 FPS instead of 30. But I think that's okay for like just watching a video. Plus, uh, Premiere will smooth it out in rendering anyway, so that's, that's pretty much solved the uh, dual commentary problem. Because me and Shaft do want to do the uh, budget car challenges again. Because I, I know people like them when we did Fort Horizon 2. It's just we're quite limited in that game, and also the got bored of it quite quickly because Horizon 2 wasn't that good on the Xbox 360. Maybe if you had your Xbox One, it would have been much better, but, you know, we were 360 noobs back then, and now he has one, I have a PC that I can play Forza, so, you know, we're good, we're good now. So we're doing budget challenges soonish. Uh, I think, I don't know when actually we'll start, but um, I know Shaft needs to get. The hell's my scraping on? Oh, that. Oh, a leaf. No, it's a log. I'm not that low. Uh, he needs to get gold, but he's, I think he's going to get it when the next Forza Fon challenges come out. So, uh. You know, a week yet. And, uh, what I love most, really, about doing it in Horizon 3 is the auction house. So, before we'd be like, right. We've both got a 10% off car perk, 
we can kind of say, right, yeah, this card costs 21 grand, this card costs 20 grand. This time, we really can get cheap cars. Uh, I myself got a, for 5,000 credits, a fully tuned Mazda RX-8. Uh, it was still a, a stock 1.3 litre engine, rotary. Uh, still wheel drive, but otherwise fully tuned. I think maybe it was a drift car in a previous life. But, um, yeah, that, that's like, I don't know, 80 grand worth of car for 5 grand. Genuine bargain. Uh, same thing with a 370Z. I think I have to pay about 8,000 for that. Same thing. Came, fully tuned, real drive stock engine though. But, you know, didn't cost much. Uh, I didn't notice the Crown Vic. You can get fully tuned Crown Vic for like a grand. You might have to ban that for budget challenges. Also the Jeep Renegade. Again, too cheap for its own good. I think it's a DLC. I think that's why. Uh, avoid the pop, no, hit the ball. Uh, but yeah. That's gonna add like a whole new dimension to this whole budget thing. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. See, I can just do this all day now. Like, I can mess up a little bit, but I can instantly get back in the groove. And this is basically what I'm gonna do all video, because this is fun for me. Whoops. Cause more. Drift missile now. Okay, so I'm full throttle. Absolutely a mill. I kind of panicked because uh, that Falcon U. Uh, but yeah, that's what I really have to say. So we've got Lexus has been uh, affected. I've got a cold, and dual commentaries will be starting. So yeah, stay tuned for all that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.